crystal with pineapple papers and I am so excited for how to kill a kit with style for the new year and this time okay let's be honest so Maggie Holmes is coming out with a new line and I feel a little guilty about getting it until I've killed what I have. So my kit is mainly Flourish and Willow Lane. So I did purchase a lot of the Flourish. And if you remember, I won almost the entire collection of Willow Lane. So I have used a lot of it, but I've decided, okay, I'm going to kill it. So let me show you what I got. So I have the Maggie Holmes Flourish Unforgettable. <clears throat> and then this one is a cut apart and this is Flourish Providence. Another cut apart from Flourish Memorable with this on the other side, which I don't think I'm going to use. Um, this one is called Always from Flourish. So a bunch of tickets and a wood grain. Probably should have bought two of this one. And then this one is aviary and a nice neutral brick pattern on the back. This one is called royal and I think I've already used one of these. And this is the other side. This one is charming with all the bugs and then a nice black and white which is always good to have. Another black and white calliope. I hope I'm saying that right. And then some butterflies on the back. Uh, this one is Songbird. And so those are all Flourish. This is the Gold Foil Vellum. <clears throat> and then I do have the Paper Pad for Willow Lane. Um, and I've actually used a decent amount of it, so... I have a good feeling that that's going to get used. And then I have, this is what I have from Willow Lane for chipboard. This is what I have from Flourish chipboard. Um, except for I might have purchased a full one from Tuesday morning. So that may be making its way out as well. And then... Let's see here. So I do have the 6x6 six six Flourish paper pad. And there's probably more than half of that one left. And then I have the 6x8 Flourish. And there is one, two, three whole pieces of paper in that one. So that one I will definitely use. And then I have both of the Willow Lane. Now, this one is pretty full. Haven't used a ton of that one. This one, I've probably used half. So, lots of paper choices. So, um, if you're new to my channel, um, I love me some paper. So, lots of layering for me. So, embellishments. Um, I have the standouts. And I think this one is from Flourish. Yep. So I have that. And then these, I believe, are from Willow Lane. And they are clear stickers. I have some puffy stickers from Flourish. I have these two, four. Four wooden frames. And this is from Flourish as well. And I love this background. I love how even her packaging is usable. So super excited about those. Um, I have two sets of alphas and then heart stars and a couple of floral pieces. I've got the puffy stickers and the rub-ons from Willow Lane. I have the stamp set from Willow Lane. It's probably my most used stamp set. Um, so I don't stamp a ton, but I have used this one like crazy. So I have that. 
So I ordered this, I don't remember which one this is from. Um, this is Recollection Thickers and they're almost like puffy. So they're really pretty. I have the Alpha Cheerful from Thickers and this is the one from Willow Lane. And then as far as the foam stickers, I have a little bit left. So here's those sheets. And then the sticker sheet from Willow Lane, the 6x12, um, probably have over half of it done. So um, that should be not too hard. And then from the Flourish collection, um, I have a few here and a few here. So still a ton of usable pieces. Now, as far as embellishments go, um, I've used a ton of the die cuts. So um, I haven't really used the gold trim yet. So I have that and I have, I think I have three of these left. I thought I had a pink one somewhere. Mm, maybe not. Okay. So I have two of these kind of already sewn together crepe paper pieces. This was a, um, like a journaling packet. And so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of those. So I'm not sure I've maybe used one. And this is it that I have for die cuts. So, whew, I don't see why I can't get this kit killed. So those are like scrap pieces of paper. So I don't feel like this is a huge kit which is good because I have a lot going on in January. Um, we actually will be on vacation uh, a bit, and so I won't be able to scrap for probably half the month um, just because we're out of town and have other obligations. So um, that's why I thought this kit would be perfect for me because um, she's she's just my style and it just comes super easy and I can sit down and bang out a page in 45 minutes no problem. I did want to add some bling so I went through my Spiegel Mom Scraps uh, stash and I pulled out the Vintage Christmas on point sweet things and hexaglam so that is going to be my kit. Um, like with all of my other kits, I don't feel like I have to specifically stick with um, what I've pulled out. If I feel like I need something else in my stash, um, I'm going to get it out because that's part of how this works. This is using up the beautiful things that we've bought and what we have, um, and January is a spending freeze. So I uh, keep my fingers crossed that I can actually do that. So in the description box below is a list of all of the other amazing YouTubers that are participating this month. And there is a ton. I'm so excited. You guys are going to have so many videos, so much inspiration. So um, I hope to have my first video up for this uh, this week. Um, I am on call today being New Year's Eve or New Year's Day. But um, Hopefully I just get to scrap with my bestie. So um, remember to wear your crown and we'll see you next time. Bye.